like every Friday, we, ha we have here Stephen Keppel, our economics editor in our studio, for his take on this week's economic news. Now, economists were very busy this week, Stephen. Yeah, lots going on. Uh, lots going on, and we're going to start with Obama's uh, press conference yesterday promoting his jobs bill. Mm -hmm. uh, did the president manage to sell this bill to Republicans and to members of his own party? And what is your take on the bill? Is this actually going to solve the nation's problems as, yeah. as he's painting it? I don't, I don't know how well he's, he's been able to sell it to Republicans. Um, but when I look at the bill and I look at you know, what other economists are saying and research into it, there are some good things in the bill that normally would be passed by both sides. Um, it's not perfect, though, you know, but I think the positive things are, are one, the, this, uh, the idea of extending the payroll tax cuts and actually deepening the tax cuts. That will affect each worker, give them more money in their pocket every month. Um, the second thing that President Obama talked about yesterday, which I think is positive, is he talked about the importance of approving uh, the free trade agreements that okay. are pending with Korea, but also with uh, Colombia and Panama, um, which would be good for U.S. exporters, good for those countries in Latin America as well. The proposal to give incentives to small businesses to, to hire, uh, you know, through the tax code, um, that's kind of unproven if that will actually spur job growth. I think the main thing that will spur job growth is uh, consumption in the economy. Okay. Um, and also, I mean, a big thing that the president didn't talk too much about yesterday, but we're, we're seeing a lot today and all this week is the European debt crisis. So exactly. we're going to have to see how that plays out. That will have a big impact on our economy. Exactly. Now, uh, the free trade agreements, uh, Congress is expected to vote on them next week. We'll keep you updated on that. And there was some good news this morning on the jobs report, basically stating that 100,000 jobs, more or less, were created on the past month. Um, is this good news? Can we rejoice or not so much? I mean, the fact that we created more jobs this month than last month it is good news. However, sort of the bad news is it, that unemployment is still high. It's still at 9.1%, 11.3% for Latinos. Um, so people are out there are struggling, they're frustrated. Um, we would need to be creating about 250,000 jobs a month to, um, you know, to, to get back to where we were before the, uh, the recession. Okay. Um, so w the, the good news is, yes, we're not heading into another recession at this moment, um, but we're not really getting out of the slow uh, economic growth. So it's kind of a mixed, a mixed uh, report today. And like you said, uh, you know, the situation with the European crisis is going to influence that um, a lot. Now, the water cooler issue this week was, of course, the Wall Street protest. Uh, they've been gaining ground. Uh, many unions joined them this week. So as an economist, do you think these people's claims are legitimate? Yeah, and we actually had a lot of, on our Tumblr page about the, these protests this week. Um, but when you look at it and the fact that Inequality in the U.S. is at its highest point since the Depression. It's on par, actually, with the inequality of Brazil, which is crazy. Wow. It's ridiculous. Um, given that you know that background, I think a lot of their uh, their views and, and what they're talking about is legitimate. I mean, I think a lot of people are frustrated. There's high unemployment. Um, the economy is very slow, and people see this, you know they're seeing Wall Street as the problem. I think is Wall Street necessarily the problem? I, no, but. You know, there was a lot to do, they had a lot to do with the crisis, so I think their concerns are, are legitimate. Um, an interesting thing is a lot of people are comparing this with the Tea Party and how that started. But the difference is, this is a much younger group, um, you know, more diverse. These are people coming out of college, people in their 20s. They don't have jobs, they're worried about their future. For them, the, the culprit is Wall Street. For the Tea Party, the culprit is the government. Okay, I love that answer because many many people in the media were wondering, is this you know the liberal Tea Party basically? So for a more fresh take on today's economic news as well as other news, please join us on our Tumblr page and at Univision News. Thanks so much to you. Yeah.